Hey guys, it is Nitro1 here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum. So last time we arrived here at Snowpoint City and today we're going to be taking on the Snowpoint Gym. So let's head inside. So uh, yeah, this gym is a nice type gym in case you guys haven't guessed already. Hey there, how's it going chap to be? Do you see the big snowballs placed here and there? You need to slide on the ice with enough momentum to crush them. The gym leader is a user of ice type Pokemon. Melt her defenses with scorching hot fire type moves. It's all about focus with this gym. Bear down and focus. Alright, so... Has Dundratini already got the badge? Yes, he has. Okay. So, um, yeah, this puzzle is quite difficult to uh, get to grips with at first. Um, but yeah, I will have a bit of fun with this, I guess. So I think uh, the first thing to do is just uh, yeah get these snowballs down here. And uh, I guess we'll take on this trainer here. So let's see what uh, Pokemon this trainer has. A Galele. Ah, okay. Alright, so... Um, uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a lot of these trainers have uh, Sneasels, which could be problematic because, um, I mean, uh, obviously Sneasel outspeeds pretty much my entire team. So, uh, yeah, hopefully um, if a Sneasel attacks Houndoom, hopefully it'll be able to survive an attack or something. So, Snorunt to start with. And another Snorunt, okay. And a Glalie, oh, okay, so this trainer doesn't have Sneasel, thankfully. So, um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, uh, today is uh, September the 11th, so I think today is actually the uh, release date of um, Super Mario Maker, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't quote me on that, but um, yeah, pretty cool, uh, pretty interesting game. I actually kind of want to get it myself, actually. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of it already, like uh, from PK Sparks, who actually had a review copy of the game. Um, but yeah, I've never actually um, seen... Uh, uh, you know, never actually seen any other video, uh, videos from any other uh, YouTubers other than PK Sparks. So yeah, it does seem like a pretty interesting game. I might get it. I don't know if you guys are into Mario. Most of you guys are into Mario, I'm pretty sure. So, um, let's see. Uh, I guess we could m melt this one and this one down here. Um, okay, I may be stuck already. <laughs> okay, so at least we're over here now. <laughs> this may be a tough uh, puzzle. Wait a second, I'm just going to move my mic just then. Sorry, it was just uh, popping and everything. Anyway, we'll take on this trainer. So, does this guy have the uh, Sneasel? The second Pokemon might be a Sneasel. Who knows? But anyway, at least we grow to level 45. That's good. Okay, so yeah, he does have the Sneasel. Let's see how this goes. Oh, so, oh wow, we outspeed. What? We outspeed? Wow, I uh, wasn't expecting that. I thought Sneezer would uh, outspeed. Oh well, I guess uh, I shouldn't complain. <laughs> okay, so um, we'll just melt these uh, snowballs here. I don't know why I keep saying melt snowballs. I guess we're just crushing them. We're not really melting them. Imagine if our, like, our body was on fire. Like If we were like the human torch all of a sudden, then we just melted all these snowballs. Okay. Um, have I battled this trainer? Oh yes, I have. Okay. I think there are six trainers in this gym. I'm going to try and uh, battle each of them before I take on the gym leader. Uh, just because of all the experience and everything. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we'll go around here. Uh, I guess we'll uh, take on... Okay, we can't take on that trainer. Can we battle this one? Oh, no, we haven't. Oh. It's, it's uh, quite difficult to tell which trainers you've battled and which trainers you haven't battled. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, Sneasel. And a Snorunt. So, uh, yeah, if you guys uh, haven't uh, known already, if you guys haven't uh, noticed already, uh, I think uh, Pokemon Go, the new uh, app for uh, iPhone and Android, has come out. It looks pretty interesting. I don't know what you guys think of it, but I quite like it. I might get it, but um, I guess we'll see what other people uh, think of it first before I get it. Oh, by the way, uh, I, well, I didn't mention this, but um, I actually won't be uploading a video next week, uh, next weekend, because I'm actually at a university open day. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, there won't be a video next week. But uh, the week after is actually uh, EGX weekend, so um, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, at EGX. Um, I'll be meeting a couple of people. Uh, I might do some vlogging there actually, um, but yeah, don't. Uh, 
I can't actually promise that. Um, but yeah, it should be a good experience. I've never been to a convention before. I think I talked about a little bit about uh, EGX um, back in... Uh, I can't remember, I forget, uh, January or February of 2015. But yeah, it seems a pretty good uh, convention. Hopefully I'll see uh, some people like a Game Boy Luke, because I actually bought a uh, Game Boy Luke hoodie, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but uh, yeah, I'll be waiting until uh, the day of EGX to actually wear it. Hope I get to meet Game Boy Luke, he seems like a pretty cool guy. So I guess this is the last trainer. Don't know what Pokemon this trainer has. Alicia. Ah, pretty cool uh, name. Just go for another flamethrower. Hopefully, we'll get, grow to level 46 by the end of uh, by the time we battle um, Candice. That'll be really cool. Okay, so uh, we didn't quite go, grow to uh, level 46. Um, right, how to do this? Um, I think there are some snowballs down here. Ah, maybe not. Let's see. <laughs> I might spend quite a while of this episode trying to figure out this puzzle. Um, oh, actually, I know. I know what you had to do. Um, ah, great. I'll have to go back to the start again. Because uh, you go... Wait a minute, I'll show you guys. So um, you go to uh, this snowball here, I think. This patch of snow here, anyway. And uh, go down here. Go over here. All the way up here. And then over to where this uh, patch of snow is, melt this one. Uh, now what? We gotta find a way to melt that one. Um, God, this is really tedious. <laughs> I guess it's um, well, it's it's not a difficult puzzle, but it's really tedious because obviously you gotta you know slip and slide away. So uh, come down here. Oh uh, god. Have I done anything wrong? <laughs> you guys are probably laughing at me right now. Let's see. Ooh. How, lo how long have we been recording for anyway? Let me check. Oh, seven minutes, okay. Not too long then. Good. <laughs> if, I, if I spent like 20 minutes trying to do this puzzle, then that would be like a waste of an episode, honestly. <laughs> Um, right, I guess we'll make it back to the top. I guess we'll uh, slide down and... Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Um, looks like you don't have to melt... or oh, melt. Crush all these snowballs. Um, I guess the path to the gym leader is pretty much clear now, so, uh... I guess we'll go back and actually, if I heal, if I go back and heal, then uh, I'll have to start all over again, won't I? Ah, oh, that stinks. Okay. Um, do I have any potions left? Um, just regular potions, not like super potions or anything. Uh, yeah, we'll just heal up uh, Houndoom, I guess. Because I like to have all my Pokemon at least at full health before I take on the gym. Uh, how many PP of Flamethrower do I have left? Uh, oh wow, only two! Oh wow, um... Ooh god. Um, do we have any berries? Any leper berries? Oh, we only have one leper berry. Ah, okay. Um... I guess I'll have to use an elixir. Uh, although, to be honest... Um, how many times will I be using flamethrower? About three times? At most. Yeah, I guess we'll just use an elixir, or an, uh, an either. If we can find one. Ah, just one either left. Ah, okay. We'll uh, just have to use that one then. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I know her Frost Lass has Blizzard, so if... Um, yeah, if I use Houndoom against Blizzard, against her Frost Lass, then the move that she'll most likely use would be Blizzard. So do I have any... Um, Berries that, like, can heal from a freeze or something. Okay, Aspir Berry. Okay, we'll give that to uh, Houndoom. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. 
give it to Houndoom, not use it on it. Okay, um, hmm. Who should I give the amulet coin to? I guess I could give it to Duracell. Um, Duracell should be able to take out, um, her Sneasel with, uh, Double Kick. Yeah, I'm being really strategic here, guys. <laughs> Okay, we'll give uh, Duracell, we'll lead with Duracell, and give it the amulet coin. Okay. Okay, so we're all set to take on uh, Candice then. So, yep, yeah, let's go. Here we go. Do I have, uh, yeah, I guess I'm ready. <laughs> let's go. You wanna challenge Candice? Sure thing, I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose! Okay guys, so here we go, gym leader Candice, the ice type trainer. So yep, as uh, I expected, she's going to start off with her Sneasel. So we should be able to take out uh, her Sneasel with uh, a double kick. Yep, we do outspeed. No question we we're going to outspeed then. Okay, good. That should be a two-hit KO. Okay, so Pillar Swine. Uh, we're going to Dog of Evil. So I think Pillar Swine has Earthquake, so hope. Yeah, it does have Earthquake. So um, if we don't one hit KO, which I don't think we won't one hit KO, we probably will one hit KO with this Flamethrower. So Pillar Swine uh, lands an Earthquake on Houndoom. Houndoom is done for, no question about that. Okay, good. Now, I think she's going to send out her Abomber Snow next, which is quite bad because, um, of course, even though Abomber Snow is four times weak to fire, what it wants to do is it wants to set up um, uh, the Hail through uh, Snow Warning. So, yeah, it's going to Hail. Now, unfortunately, uh, her Frostlass, I think I said this in the last episode, uh, her Frostlass has a Snow Cloak, which, of course, will raise evasion in uh, uh, Hail. But thankfully we do have Faint Attack, but I don't know if that's going to deal uh, enough damage to 2-hit uh, KO or even 3-hit KO, her um, Frostlass. So we'll have to see about that. Okay, so we'll get damaged by the Hail a little bit. And Frostlass, okay. So uh, the moves that her Frostlass has is a Shadow Ball, a Double Team, Psychic and Blizzard. So, of course, um, she's going to use double team a lot. So, we'll go for a faint attack, and let's see if we outspeed. Okay, so we don't outspeed, unfortunately. That could be trouble. That could be bad. But yeah, thankfully, faint attack never misses. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, she'll uh, heal up with her citrus berry. That's uh, fine by me. So, uh, she's most likely going to go for a Blizzard this turn, so hopefully we'll uh, survive the Blizzard. Oh, no, she's going to go for a Double Team. Ah. Welp, that's uh, game to us. I don't know why he didn't go for the Blizzard. After seeing uh, that I had Faint Attack that I'd never miss. <laughs> Welp, looks like we got this match in the bag, guys. There we go. So, that's Frostlass. And that is Gym Leader Candice. Not bad. I must say, I've warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. Ah, well. I've always admired you, Candice. <laughs> anyway. Well, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bowed, and will bowed us to over totally. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. Okay, so. Now we can use Rock Climb. So I think we can, uh, I think what we should do is that we should teach Rock Climb to uh, Gallade, actually. Okay, so that's uh, TM72 is Avalanche, which is uh, pretty uh, useful for Pokemon like um, uh, Pillar Swine, Mama Swine, who uh, aren't very slow, or aren't very fast rather. I recommend you, I don't recommend you teach it to uh, Sneasel or Weavile because um, with Avalanche, Avalanche will always go last. So uh, of course you want a move that, um, obviously being a Sneasel and a Weavile because it's extremely fast already and it's really, really fray, you'll want to be the first one to attack. 
So yeah, anyway. Oh my, you've beaten the gym leader. You are more focused than her and your Pokemon picked up on it. Ah, nice. So, now that we've done Snowpoint, I guess, um, we're pretty much done. Um, how long have we been recording for? Just want to check. Okay, 15 minutes. I guess what we can do, uh, we can teach Rock Climb to, uh, uh, Gallade. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll make it forget Swords Dance, because uh, I don't think we really need Swords Dance, to be honest. It's not like a, we're playing competitively or anything. So, um, oh wait. Edgeworth can't- wait, Gallade can't learn Rock Climb? What? Ah, oh, that's- oh, that stinks. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess Join is the only one that can learn Rock Climb. What other moves does, uh, Join have? Okay, Curse. I guess, uh, Curse is pretty much useless now. We don't really need Curse anymore, to be honest. I can't see Curse, um, to, the, to be honest, the only time we ever used Curse was uh, when we took on um, the second gym leader, G Gardenia. So uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be needing Curse anymore, to be honest. I guess we could teach Rock Climb to uh, Torterra. I know it's a bit of a waste of uh, a move, but I don't really want to use uh, any HM slaves or anything, cause, like, especially because uh, we got Mount Coronet coming up and everything, I don't really want to um, waste any... Uh, team slots for HM slaves or anything. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, teach Rock Climb to uh, join. I will make it forget Curse because we don't really need Curse anymore. Okay. So now that we're done there, uh, I guess uh, we'll heal up and then uh, we'll go check out uh, Lake Akadi because that's where uh, Dumbrotini is. So it looks like Maylene is still here. <laughs> okay, so now that we healed up, let's go over to uh, the Lake Akiti. So uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, yeah, I've uh, I'm back at school now. In case you guys uh, haven't noticed already. So yeah, I'll be going back to my usual routine of um, uploading weekly. Although, uh, yeah, because I'm extremely busy, because this is my final year of school, I'll definitely be focusing a lot more uh, this year. So, um, yeah, if, if uh, there's no video up, uh, like, one weekend, then, uh, yeah, don't be too surprised. Don't be too disappointed. Um, I'm going to try and upload every week, like I said. But, yeah. If there isn't a video up uh, on a weekend, then don't be disappointed. So, I guess we'll climb up these uh, rocks. It really sucks how uh, Gallade can't learn Rock Climb. I would have, you would have thought, being a fighting type and all, that it would be able to learn Rock Climb. But it looks like it can't. I don't know why, but I guess uh, I guess it can't. You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become a, the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, don't know about you guys, but I like wasting my time, so I guess we'll go to Veilstone HQ. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Uxie. It was suffering. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing, that's not good enough. I have to be stronger. It's not enough to just want to be the most powerful trainer ever. It takes honest effort and a determined heart. Welp, looks like, um, Dumbrishini has come to his senses. <laughs> anyway. Welp, looks like that is the end of today's episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, next time, we are gonna be heading over to uh, the Veilstone HQ and uh, seeing what's up there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!